Hey, Water Signs, what's poppin', baby? It's your boy from Cancer with Sterile coming at you guys with your January 7th through the 14th love tarot reading, right? Let's see what's poppin' to my Cancers, my Pisces, and my Scorpios, man. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below, baby, all right? Keep in mind, these reads in general, they may apply, they may not. If they do, that's amazing. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers we got here on YouTube, okay? Also, these are just extra messages. Your mid-monthlies will be coming out shortly, okay? Take a look and see what's happening. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 7th to the 14th. One more shuffle. Also, my Instagram and my Twitter are down in the description box down below if you guys want to check it out, okay? All right. Water signs, mutual energy between you and another person, the higher fit, learning your lessons and counting your blessings. That's the energy that I want to see right now, baby. Woo! Okay. Water signs, mutual... Oh, sorry. Mutual energy already said. Hermit card is you, Okay. You're gaining a lot of knowledge. You're gaining a lot of wisdom. You could be reading a lot of books right now. You could be very focused and determined to make your life successful. Entering 2019, learning about law of attraction, learning about how to you know, be successful in whatever it is you want to be in. That's a good energy right there because you're gaining as much wisdom as you possibly can in this current moment to move forward in a more positive and authentic way, to move forward in a more positive and beautiful way to make yourself succeed. Wow relatable <laughs> you know what i'm saying now whoever you're connecting with here ace of wands this person here wanting new beginnings wanting to establish a new ground a new life for themselves so this person you're connecting with unfortunately this is not really anybody i wouldn't even say you're necessarily connecting with this person i would just say you are out of connection with this person you know the reception's a little shitty right um, I'm not seeing much communication between you guys as you are very focused right now on learning about things and learning about stuff and they're really focused on their life too. So these are two souls that once had a very strong and close connection. These are two souls that probably had a commitment once, right? Could have been committed to this person, married to this person, in a relationship with this person. But now the signal's been lost, okay? And as for the outcome nine of wands, it sucks because you both are living two entirely separate and different lives um, and neither of you really know what's going on in one another's lives anymore so the signal's really weak you know there may be occasional communication or occasional text messaging going back and forth but you guys just aren't close anymore right now this person you're connecting with can be a taurus or a virgo fire sign any sign for that matter now in regards i just want to dive a little bit deeper here um in regards to the hermit you may be, because um, this can be a twin flame connection for some, you may be reading up on twin flames, learning about twin flames, learning about soulmates, learning about connections, okay? Because the hermit card's always wise, it's always about wisdom. Now, in regards to this person you were dealing with, as I said in correlation before, you guys were probably in a relationship, but now you guys are distant from one another. So as for the outcome, what's really sad about this outcome is that with this nine of wands, you both are living two completely separate lives, but neither of you know what's going on in one another's lives you know and you both are looking for success you both are looking for happiness um but you guys are doing it individually all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go over their feelings your feelings where the energies are aligning and the outcome for the week okay now in regards to this person when i'm looking at their feelings um it's basically their feelings of being away from you okay so let's take a look in regards to who you're connecting with here let's go on off the water signs so with this person you're dealing with, Queen of Cups, the Tower card, King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups. So there's a lot of confusion surrounding this person because the thing is that they could see that they still have a lot of love and care for you, but maybe it's not in that direct way you would think. This is the kind of person that always holds you to their heart. They think about you a lot too is something I want to mention as well. Even though they may think about you, they don't have the courage to reach out to you, okay? Now, Eight of Wands being present. Like I said, the restriction to reaching out from you or to you because Seven of Cups being present as well, this person you're connecting with here is very confused on what it is they even feel for you. Um, they don't know if they have romantic feelings for you. They don't know if they just care about you as a genuine human being and a person. They don't know what they feel. And because they're so confused on what it is that's happening and they're probably confused on the way that the, you know, the relationship ended or the connection ended with the Tower card being present too, this person just backs off from you overall with the King of Pentacles as they are very focused on their success and focused on their life okay so this person you're connecting with water sign they're very focused on living their best life and having a happy life but you come across their mind quite often Lee, and when you do they don't do anything about it they just think you know that's why the signals weak because as much as they can think about you they don't have the drive or the motivation to pick up the phone and give you a call say let's meet for coffee let's do something for that right so this person overall that you're connecting with the love is still there but the resistance is there Meaning that as much as they care about you and as much as they are confused about what their feelings are, because of that confusion, there's a huge resistance between you both. Meaning that they will not pick up the phone and call you. They will not contact you. They will not try to make that signal 
excuse me, a lot stronger. Wow, okay. In regards to your energy here, water sign, let's take a look. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 7th through the 14th. So, by the way, though, um, in regards to this, though, this person may, when the energies are aligning, they may contact you, finally. So, in regards to your energy, though, let's take a look. What's going on, baby? So, Wheel of Fortune, you've accepted the energies of what's meant to be will be, right? But at the same time, even though you're accepting what is meant to be is meant to be, you are still hurt over this and you still do reminisce in the past. Um, with the Five of Cups being present, you probably have a lot of, you know, grievances, a lot of regrets about the way that things planned out, a lot of regrets about the way that things ended. And with the Six of Cups, of course, this is you reminiscing and thinking about that person. So what's interesting is that you two are still thinking about each other. So when we're talking energetically, that is open. You are open to this person and they're open to you, meaning that you guys are still connected energetically. There is no cord cut. There is no break from that. But in the physical that's where the disconnect is. So energetic wise, you guys are still connected, okay? Especially if you guys have been intimate, that's a soul That's a soul tie right there. But in the physical, that's where the disconnect is, okay? Now, Queen of Swords, King of Wands, you kind of battle your brain a lot in which I should cut this person off. I need to move on. I need to do this. I need to do that. Because you know that moving on is the best plan of action for you. You know that moving on is the best thing that you should do. But at the same time, no matter how much you say you've moved on, you still are hurt by this person, okay? When you think about it, it's something you still crave. So it's interesting because many people say you can't move on and still love someone, but you can. You've moved on from this person, but it doesn't mean you don't have those feelings. The only thing you've moved on from is you've moved on from the idea of having to be with this person. You've accepted that if it's meant to be, it's going to be. You didn't necessarily move on from the way you feel because you can't help but feel the way you feel, but you moved on from the idea of having to be with this person, as has the other person. The issue with this person that you're connecting with though here, Water Sign, is just they are very confused on what it is they want in their life in general, okay? Is what I'm seeing here. In regards to where the energies are aligning, let's take a look here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 7th through 14th. All right. In regards to where the energies are aligning between you and this person, okay, yes, embrace that shit, boo, woo! Okay, so from what I can see present though, yes, there will be a message. So eight of wands, you're gonna get that message from that person during that week, okay? So this person's gonna come back from the dead, okay? <laughs> Death card to the three of cups. Wanting to hang out, wanting to talk. If they're at a distance from you, they can be calling you, FaceTiming you. If they're in person, they may want to meet up for coffee or something. But with the Three of Cups to the Death card, this is them coming back around to you and also noting and acknowledging that, hey, let's talk, let's catch up, whatever. With the Three of Cups being present too, though, you're going to have a good time with this person, meaning it's a positive and it's good energy. It's nothing negative, okay? Moving to the Six of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles, you're probably going to come to a realization that this person you're connecting with is recently single or is choosing to be single now, meaning that you're both on the market, boo, okay? You may be in a relationship but if you're in a relationship and you're still in love with somebody else you shouldn't be in a relationship at all just saying baby okay but with the six of wands to the nine of pentacles this is all about saying hey let's give each other attention you guys are giving each other a lot more attention now and you're kind of making that frequency and that signal a lot stronger now okay um in the pre-shuffle there was a star card meaning that when i see the star card it's all about perfect timing and in regards to this person, now the perfect timing is there. Um, also, in regards to planetary influences, we do have the new moon in Capricorn that's going on in the 5th. Today is the 4th, so tomorrow it's going to be happening, um, as well as a partial solar eclipse. And we also have a complete eclipse, I believe, at the end of the month in the 20s, I believe the 21st or 22nd, okay? So those energies being present are invoking and inviting um, ending cycles and creating new beginnings and new cycles, okay? So meaning that you guys can exit out of this past and with the Six of Wands energy, move forward in this present moment, okay? Because this person, what's interesting is that this person you're connecting with, they think about you a lot, a lot, but they never, ever, ever come to you. They never, ever really talk to you, right? But now it's time to change the old ways of doing things and create new ways of doing things. And also, excuse me, sorry about that, guys. Also, with this person you're connecting with too, you gotta keep in mind, they are not necessarily moving on from their life if you're all they can think about and they do nothing about it. So at this point, with their spirit guides and with the, uh, with the planetary influences being at play, this person's going to be forced to have to talk to you and confront what their feelings are because they've been putting off their feelings for way too long. And when you put your feelings off for way too long, it's only gonna haunt you. So it doesn't matter because you know, you, you moved on and you've accepted the idea of not being with them, but you still have feelings for them. They, at the same time, they cannot move on until they figure out what the hell kind of feelings they have for you, 
all right? Whether they want a friendship, whether they want a relationship, or whether they want nothing, they need to decide that, okay? <clears throat> As for the overall outcome between you and this person, let's take a look. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 7th through the 14th. What do we got over here? Oh, baby, not a cups. Okay. Getting into that energy of where you guys are very happy with each other. Also, you could have wished for this as well, especially when I saw the star card before. You could have been trying to manifest um, communication from this person or wishing for this person to come back into your life, okay? But yeah. As for the overall outcome, it's you guys being open to one another is the energy that we're seeing present. Also, with the Page of Cups all the way to the Ten of Pentacles, it's making an action plan um, to move forward with one another in the long term. So whenever, I can't even tell you the exact reason because I don't see it here, but whatever reason it was that you both got out of contact in the first re or like in, <clears throat> in the first place, or whatever the reason was when you both broke up, disconnected, whatever have you, that's no longer relevant. Um, when this person comes back into your life, they're actually uh, taking an action plan here with the Ten of Pentacles to look forward at a future with you. Whether they want to be a friend, whether they want to be in a relationship, whatever have you, they're looking at the long-term goal, okay? Anyways, guys, I hope that this wasn't too scattered. I know my energy's kind of like, like crazy today. Um, I'm just in one of those crazy fucking nuts moods right now. It's insane. Um, that's Sagittarius for you. Um, but either way, <laughs> hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Just to break it down real quick, there is somebody coming back around to you from your past um this person is going to be messaging you from the 7th to the 14th although energies can carry out um they do want to start something new with you and start a new beginning with you which is good um as you are growing spiritually and they're growing spiritually this is awesome because now you guys can put the past behind you and move forward in a more beneficial way um this is basically making amends with somebody that you should make amends with because you both genuinely care about each other it doesn't matter if it's leading to a relationship or a friendship what matters is that you guys are developing a relationship in general you get what i'm saying okay thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed if it resonates let me know down in the comments down below take care have a great one and i will catch you guys later peace